Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code of Yard Time tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use the Python Turbo Graphics to make simple animations like this one. Um, we won't be going that advanced today, but we will be learning how you can move the turbo, and we're going to be doing some really basic things with the Python Turbo Graphics. So, uh, using the Python Turbo Graphics is actually really simple and is a great start for beginners. So let's get started. So guys, um, the first thing you have to do is make a new file. I've already done that. Um, in Python, so basically open up Python, click on file, and then click on new file. That's all you have to do. So, first thing we want to do is we have to import the turbo module. Now, modules in Python are just um, a bunch of pre-made code that you can use um, to make your coding easier. They're basically a co combination, I mean a collection of functions. So all we have to do is just type in import turbo. Now that will import the turbo module. And next, let's make a new turbo. Now a turbo in Python is like a small little arrow thing. So um, you'll see what I mean in, um, once we make our turbo. So, you can call your terminal anything you want. I'm just going to call it Kodo. So, Kodo is going to be my new terminal. And to make a new terminal, you have to assign it a terminal. So, you have to type in turbo.turbo. Make sure you're typing it in exactly the way I'm typing it in. Because if you're not, it's not going to work. So, yeah. Um, you can change the name of your turbo to anything you want. So now that we have our turbo, let's go ahead and run this. So just go up here and click on run, click on run module. And here you can see our little arrow thing, which is basically the turbo. Now, using our coding, we can make this turbo move and do all sorts of cool things which we are going to learn. So let's go back to a code and um, I'll show you guys how you can make this turbo move. Because right now it's a bit boring, just a uh, black arrow thing. So to make it move, we can type in coder. So basically what we're doing is we're calling the coder on turbo. Um, if we have multiple turbos, this is a lot more useful. Here we can type in forward to make it go forward. And here we can um, type in how far we want it to go in pixels. So let's make it go 100 pixels forward. Let's run it again. And make sure to save it. And... <coughs> See, you can have um, seen the turbo just shoot up 100 pixels on the screen. Now, um, when our turbo moves, it makes an, it makes a little line and um, like a trail. Now we can use this trail to make drawings. So let's try to make a square. But to do that, we need to be able to make our turbos turn. Now we can make our turbo turn by using the right and left commands. So we can do coder dot right. And we can select how many degrees we want our turbo to turn. Say we can turn it 45 degrees. That will make it turn half of 90 degrees, which is like a little bit of a diagonal line. 
If we make the turbo turn another 45 degrees, so we can do this, that'll basically make it turn 90 degrees. Like that. Now, I, now let's try making a square. So, um, to save space, we can remove this and just type in 90. Now, I'm going to do the whole one again. Go another 100. Now, let's make it go right. Basically, we can just copy this, paste it again, same time. Run it again. Boom. Now we have a square. Now that was just a basic um, drawing that we made. Um, using formulas in and mathematics, you can actually make much complex module. I mean, much complex drawing using this. But this is the start. So let's learn more about the total graphics. Okay. Now, our black lines are kind of boring. Let's try to change the color of our lines. To do that, it's actually, it's actually easier than you think. All you have to do is do coder, or the name of your total. You can set pen color. And inside here, you can type in a color that you want. Note that all the general colors like yellow, blue, red, green, and so on are supported. If you want to choose like custom colors, you have to use RGB and I will leave that for a later video where I'll teach you guys about how you can set custom colors. But anyways, I'm going to set the pen color to blue. Let's run it. Now you can see that our turtle, um, our turtle's lines are blue. Now, the problem with, um, um, these turtles are that they're always constant line. You can't, like, move them somewhere, then they draw, then they move, um, without drawing, and then they draw again. So, to, to do this, we can actually use pen up and pen down commands so what we can do is we can start we can um make it draw um the first line and then um then we can change it to stop drawing using the pen up command so it won't draw so it'll still move but it won't draw so once it finishes that line, you can get the pen down. So it's drawing again. It makes that line. Then it stops drawing. So if you're going to make more complex drawings, this is much more useful. So guys, let's try and run this module. And see how we have made two of these lines disappear. And, um, I mean the turtle still moved, but it just didn't draw. So guys, um, that's, um, how you can, um, go, um, you can use the pen up and pen down commands. Next, um, finally, we're going to be learning how you can change the background color of this canvas. Because right now, it's just a boring white color. And um, to make it more interesting, we can change the color of that. So, how you do that is you can use the, the BG color command. Um, so, you just type in turtle. So not the name of the turtle, just 
plain turtle. And um, bigger color. Then here we can type in the command and the color we want. Just like we did with the pen color. Also guys, um, it's the same thing. Um, only the general colors are um, work in this. Um, if you want more specific colors, you have to use RGB, which I will save for another video. So, I'm going to change it to yellow. Let's run it. And as you can see here, our background color is yellow. Now, um, um, that's basically it for this video. Um, there are a lot more things you can customize, even in this code. You can, like, change the number, um, of pixels it's going, say, to 1,600. That made, like, the, the gap more bigger. And, um, you can, like, try to make, um, you can, like, change the color, um, between each, like, you can do red here. So both of the lines will be different colors, like that. See, like, one is red, one is blue. You guys can make, like, more fun shapes. And, yeah, guys. So if you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to Code of Tom, and I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.